Hello viewers, welcome back. So this time we are going to speak about the gravity wheels. So you thought in the beginning I did one video about the Vinci overbalanced wheel. This is something similar, it's gravity wheel. It's called Dale Simpson gravity wheel. It's really interesting design and I really loved to make this animation. And you will see, this is the image over here, it looks really nice. And what is the idea and how this should really work. All right, so this is the beast. So let me be very quick. Yeah, I can lose many, a lot of time to explain that. But I'll try to be very quick. So this is the amazing Dale Simpson gravity wheel. So let me try to explain from the beginning how this should work. Yeah? So for, so let me uh, start from the let's say uh, these weights. Yeah? This uh, yellow part, these are the weights which will do the overbalance and which will move the wheel to spin yeah? when they are in the farthest position uh, from this and this and, and those on the bottom. Yeah? So they, we will use gravity to move the weights uh, around. Yeah? And, and let me now uh, turn this around and try to explain in this way. Uh, what can I say? You can see I will hide the I will hide the support so that it's more visible to explaining, yeah, for explaining. All right. So you can see that uh, there is a latch mechanism. So these blue parts, which are holding these magnets, one, one, two, three, four, in very close to the circle. So 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 these springs, these are of course springs, are tensioned, and they these latches are, uh, are keeping it close to the circle and uh, to how do they do that there is a compression ramp on the bottom this this over here this is a compression ramp which uses to tension the springs into this position then the latch mechanism catches and then holds it until this release mechanism over here and this red part is the release mechanism for this latch yeah? and that's it and then in this position springs are pushing the weights to the top yeah? So pro approximately over here, I think, where is my mouse? They're already uh, the farthest distance from the center of the circle, and then the gravity do its work. And this is the exactly the idea. So you can see, if I move it uh, this in the front view, you can see that it's a three times uh, more uh, f f uh, distant uh, is the this uh, weights on the which are on the end of the circle than this which are under the latch mechanism tension yeah so that's the idea so basically this is the uh, this is only why this is even possible because otherwise uh, the spring would not uh, the wheel would not spin yeah? because we need small energy to move this four uh, weights up because they're very close to the circle and then of course this ones when when they are pushed by the spring are very far away from the center of the uh, circle from the main shaft and this is what is doing the work here and uh, then they are moving down and then of course they are slowing down on this compression ramp uh, so this what I selected below this is a compression ramp which uses to tension the springs again back uh, and then this latch mechanism holds it uh, until next release over here uh, and this is it yeah so basically that's the whole idea a very interesting gravity wheel uses a compression ramp and the ratio uh, it's uh, what is here doing the job because uh, these weights are very close to the circle in when they are rising up and they are very far from the circle when they are coming down and um, about the springs it is uh, important to mention that they are very very they are just enough strong to push the weights up to the end of the or to the circle yeah? so they're not strong so, uh, so they will kick it yeah? they're just enough strong to uh, to move it to the end of the circle yeah, or to the, the circle and then so it's again the same mechanism that they do not lose too many uh, slow mo that it, they are not the circle it's not uh, motion it's not slowing down because when there is compression ramp moving them uh, to the center yeah? and that's it yeah? All what I can say about this gravity, amazing gravity wheel. All right, viewers. So that was Dale Simpson gravity wheel. Amazing design, amazing concept. And basically, this is not even the patent. So the Dale Simpson gave it to the public, so it was not be able to pat to be patented anymore after that. Yeah. So it's a really free patent given to the public. So maybe some someone of you is 
is doubtful that this is possible to work but yet yeah, I'm really optimistic because it's this uh, these weights which are very far from the center are really making more pressure on, on the, to move this to spin than those which are very close which need to be risen up and the only part where I'm afraid that this um, uh, compression spring which on, on the bottom you saw in the video uh, that this could stop the wheel yeah? so that's I think that's why the springs should be perfect for this system the planned exactly for this type of the system that it really can just uh, that this can continue to spin that's basically it so thank you for watching and uh, I'm approaching the 15,000 subscribers I'm really optimistic and I will continue my work and explore free energy for all of you so bye bye until the next video